Hello everybody and welcome back to Revita 1.0. We are jumping in again and we have finally got ourselves the ability to get ourselves a custom new weapon, an alt weapon. This is the alt sniper. I don't actually know what any of them do, but this is the current daily gun. By the way, if you're wondering what this pedestal is, I unlocked it off camera. Essentially, it just gives you the pedestal for whatever weapon has bonus. So we got this, so I'm going to try this out. We've got enough to get it and we get the hunter. A sniper variety that lets you deal crits by shooting enemies in the back. Ooh. Okay. This is interesting. So this is like a straight upgrade from this, right? Okay, so... It does have less base damage, but this is going to be pretty interesting. We also have 365 of these, so let's uh, see what we want to buy. I think I'm just going to go for, like, two legendaries, maybe. we got Royal Jelly there. That might be a good one to go for. And maybe the Demonic Wings as well. Let's have a look. How much is... How much are they going to cost? Demonic Wings... Yeah, let's just go for both of these. Demonic Wings and the Royal Jelly. I don't know what either of them do, but they're both legendary. I'm going to imagine Demonic Wings is just flight or something along those lines at least. But we are jumping up to Shard 6. Enemies gain an extra bullet. That's going to be kind of saucy. We'll um, grab ourselves the key. We could grab the Sword of Leo for two curses. Um, I'm going to grab myself a shield. Ooh... I tell you what, I'm gonna grab the glass cannon, uh, the glass cannon as well. Just because early, being low HP early seems fine to me. Um, and we will start our run. This, this could be kind of spicy, but I'm interested. So, okay, so the, it is indeed flight. Um, and gives you additional, additionally filled max HP. No way. We got glass cannon, but then got three HP. Okay, so, I have to admit, I don't know how to feel about flight. Like, it seems like it could be really good. One thing that I am sort of thinking is it's going to be really good for being behind enemies, I think. Extra keys, nice. The floor is lava. Is that do a whole room without touching the floor? I'm going to imagine it is. But yeah, it's going to be quite nice for shooting enemies in the back. Obviously, some of these enemies, I don't know if they technically have a back. Um, but obviously right now we have very... Okay, I did manage to hit that guy at the back. We do have uh, a very, very good amount of damage now. I also should be looking for secret rooms. I didn't do that in the previous two rooms there. A little silly of me. Yeah, okay, I don't think we got one in this room. But yeah, the fact that we got glass, uh, glass cannon, but then got the HP anyways from the Royal Jelly. Or whatever it was called. Is it called Royal Jelly? Yeah, it's so good. Also, these crits are pretty nuts right now. Okay, apparently you cannot heal while in midair. That's going to take a little bit of getting used to. The fact that I can't jump is really wigging me out. Um, Your bullets... Ooh, yes, please. Yeah, the fact that I can't jump is really, really strange. Uh, yeah, I'll take Parasite. That's fine. Yeah, it's going to be a little weird. I just, I think I have to like fly into the air immediately to get used to the fact that I'm flying. Oh, we got a celestial weapon here as well, right off the bat. Good. Nice. I love those crits. All right, we heal up again. This is weird. This is really strange, but I like it. Oh, and we, we, we get the grenade as well, which is going to give us some more HP as well. We're, dude, we're having a really good run so far. Also, we haven't really found too many enemies that fire bullets yet, so we haven't really noticed the downside of our new level of um, shard so far. We've also got a chest room here. And we do indeed have the key to go there. We'll grab that. Yeah, this is just this is just a little peculiar. Not being able to jump. I kind of thought it'd be flight, but we'd be able to jump still. Also, I can't hold up to open chests anymore. <laughs> That's really strange. Ooh, bandana's really nice. That's probably something we'll give an upgrade to. We probably have missed out on our secret room here. We might not be able to go for, um... Oh, wait. No, that was our secret room. Um, I was gonna say we might have to go B-floor, but it looks like we can, actually. Nice. Very, very good. Very, very nice. 
puzzle. That hopefully we can get some fire rate going. By the way, I do realize I've got to do the statue puzzle at some point as well, but I don't think I need to do that yet. Good, good. Taken care of. There's our other hive here. Also, I need to be using my grenades as much as possible here. Okay, so let's just check. Okay, this guy, he does just fire one additional bullet. It's not... I kind of thought maybe it'd be one additional bullet per bullet fired, but it's like one additional bullet per, like, shot of bullets, if you know what I mean. It's hard to explain. <laughs> I know what I mean, at least. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, what we got here? Um, bosses start with less HP. Honestly, let's just take the key. I think everything else is kind of... Whatever. I, I was like, what the hell's that sound? And I realized it's our wings. Ooh, also, now that we have freezing ability, getting behind enemies might be a little easier. It's just, it's difficult because some enemies don't really have a behind. Or at least it's hard to tell where the behind is. Standing directly above them seems to work. Greed is going to give us shop discounts, so I'll do it. And we also got a secret there as well. Nice. Right. Now, I do wonder how this is going to play out for boss, uh, for like doing bosses. Is, it, is this going to be really useful against this guy or really bad? I feel like I'm going to end up making more mistakes because of this. Whoa. Okay, that guy fires a lot more bullets. Yeah, that guy fires a lot, lot more bullets. Okay, so he, it, for him, it is like pair shot. Or at least on some of the attacks it is. So that's going to cause some issues for me, and I'm probably going to end up getting hit by that. I mean, I can play it safe, but I still think that could cause me some significant problems. Like, that almost hit me there. I'm really liking this, um, following our aim thing. Okay, that didn't quite reach. Like, that's, that's a really tricky attack to dodge there. We should kill him on the next cycle here. Here we go. And we unlocked the secret for killing him while his eye was open. Very, very nice. Good, good. Crack that open. Good, good. Okay. We have a lot to play with here. Let's make sure to destroy our um, beehive because I do want to go bee floor. I, be, I, just, I think just bee floor is really good. I think, it, I think it, there's a lot of rewards to be gained. Okay. So I actually do want to trade away quite a lot of maximum HP here. I've all, I have a good few things I want to upgrade. Uh, first of all, do we have any items we want to get rid of? No. So with this dude... Uh, glass cannon is going to be a 10% damaging. I think this is first. I want maximum on that. And then I want to go a little hard on that as well. And honestly, let's go for that too. That, that was pretty nutty and probably a little bit dangerous. But I, I'm trying to get a little more into the habit of doing that. Where I go really hard on trading away my HP. Because I think it's the only way I'm going to get better at the game. And I realize I am on shard 6. It's not as if like... I'm really struggling or anything. But, if you know what I mean. Okay, we are still going to get these guys from time to time. And then, now we get a heart back. Good. Really should be looking for secret rooms here. Now, I don't know if we actually need our key here or what this room's going to offer to us. Because we don't need the key anymore. Maybe it just won't offer anything to us. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Let's hop in here and see. Is there going to be something different we can get from here? Okay, it's just not going to open. Maybe the key can be used to open up the, the chest that we found in the Lost Home area. You can see already, though, how much this homing is helping. I definitely think the next thing we need is fire rate. We've already got, like, damage... Under check. Okay, so here we get increased max HP and spawns a rare pickup. I think that's a good one. Let's just go for that. 
And there you go. Max soul up is pretty good. There's the extra bullet from that guy. It's a little hard to take full advantage of the shoot from behind. Just because enemies tend to turn to face you. But I think getting above an enemy seems to be a pretty effective way so far. Also, I think homing definitely helps because you can curve it behind the enemy. That seems to be a reasonably good tactic. Got our first chest room here. Okay, let's take out the enemies that shoot first. How about that? A few curse enemies here and there. Hop through here. A rare chest. Nice. And we get ourselves... What the hell's this? Increase your range and make sure... Uh, make sure you shoot... A Ooh. With homing, that could be so good. Yes. Okay. Because, like, well, it's not Herming, but, like, what what is it that it actually does again? It's, um, follows your aim, yeah. So, obviously, it's not perfect, as you can see. We don't quite have enough range for it to curl all the way around. But that's pretty good. If we can get Herming as well, then it's going to be very good. I realize I have been say saying Herming this whole time, and it's not actual Herming. I don't really know what electricity does yet. I still, I'm not really sure on that. By the way, I have to say, I was a little dubious at first, but I really like flight. Flight is proving to be very, very useful. Oh, we got a chest as a room drop. I've never had that before. Never had that before. Okay, I should get another chest here. There you go. I re freezing is incredible because it's super easy crits. And we'll pop through here. We need to, like, fire an extra bullet at full HP, that sort of stuff. And what do you hold for us, sir? Pipette. No. Pipette's good, and I like the fire rate bonus. This, this weapon does need fire rate, but it essentially neuters armor. It is good for going to uh, Cam Calderum, the, uh, the 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 snow floor, snow floor, um, water floor, but we don't need to go there, so. And we're on to the boss. I don't know how we'll fare against this boss specifically with flight. I think that this one could be actually a little problematic. Here we get small chance. Uh, no, I'll just go with that, I guess. Um, chance to get a relic hammer when upgrading a relic. That's not amazing, but it's okay. Yeah, I don't really know how to feel here. I mean, for one, there's, there's honey traps on the floor here, and we don't have to deal with them, which is rather nice. But I feel like... I feel like it could be a little problematic being able to fly. But then again, I suppose maybe it'll just give us a little more range of motion in where we want to dodge to. Ooh, I did just get stuck in the honey there. Yeah, I feel like we're probably not going to get a Flawless here. Yeah, I missed it. It's fine. I wasn't expecting to. I'm still not very good at Anger. I do want to try and get a Flawless on um, Depression, though. Because apparently, if you can do Depression without dodging... Like, without dodging once, without getting hit, you get a secret. And I'm I'm looking to get that. I have taken arm, armor damage here, but this is why we didn't take Pipette. So otherwise, our, uh, armor would be uh, our health would be gone instead of our armor. I'd rather my armor get used first, I'll be honest. How are you hitting me, sir? You are... How was I ever meant to flawless you? <laughs> How was I ever meant to flawless you? I think, although it's not the best idea, I think maybe we should give up Broken Mirror. Not Broken Mirror, sorry. Um, Relic Hammer. For, yeah, extra damage. And we did get... I think it's I think it's only 10% you get, but it's like... It's a relic I wasn't really going to use, so I don't really mind. We might end up trading away a little bit more max HP here, depending on the items available. 
Let's take a little look-see. What we got? So, Tesla coil. Very interesting. And, yeah, let's, let's, let's take Tesla coil. I feel like because we're shooting bullets out of our back, that's going to be really good. Lower aim accuracy is actually completely fine. In fact, I don't even think it matters because it follows our aim rifle. Yeah, Tesla coil, considering we're firing two shots at once here, is, is very good. Oh, I sat on this bench. I didn't know you could sit on those benches. Stop. Stop sitting on the bench. I want to fly. Hey, sir. Despacito. If we can get piercing, then this will be really good. It's already quite good, though. But yeah, as you can see now, because we're firing like shots out of our back, we're getting a little bit extra out of Tesla coil. We did lose a lot of shot speed in that, but I really don't think shot speed matters that much. The only thing shot speed's really doing for us is the, the slight amount of range shot speed gives. Okay. Almost regained a heart. I, I do notice that icicle there. I'm trying to stay away from it. Okay, you're gonna give me some damage. That's a lot of damage. Very nice. I keep forgetting I'm getting damage. Um, I'm getting damage for killing enemies during runes. Oh god, that guy fires a lot of shots now. Okay, what the hell's this room? Is this the uh, guy that costs keys to do things? It is. He's got fire rate and speed, or bullets are pulsing and increase your bullet range. Do you know what? I'm going to buy both of these, I think. Synergy as well. Uh, upon entering a new area, might reveal some special rooms on the map. Uh, decrease the number of rooms per area. Your bullets have a chance to burn. Enemies get poisoned. Nah. I'm gonna leave all of them. I'd rather take the chaos chest. Yeah, this is the sort of one where it's a little easier to, uh, to crit. Good, good. Not really finding many secret rooms here, but I think that's okay. I'm not that good at it anyways. Good. I don't have a key for my shop, unfortunately. I did just spend my keys. But I, I feel like I did spend my keys, but I spent my keys on items, which really is not ever a bad idea, I don't think. Oh, that was a really dumb hit. Probably our mirror room here. Yeah, it's that mirror room. I do know how to use the mirror room now, but I'm not confident in going for that quite yet. Let's take out this guy first. Again, be careful for the bloody crystal. Oh my lord. You're being a bit of a nuisance, sir. Good, good. Hey, that's actually really nice. Our Celestial Weapons will charge a bit faster. I don't even, like, even if I had a key, I don't want to bother looking for another Celestial Weapon. I'm really happy with the one I got. Keep forgetting I can dodge. Good stuff there. A snow globe. We're, we're getting um, prison keys and secrets pretty regularly now as well. We're doing well on that on that front. Oh, fire. Beautiful. Not much you can do to stop me. Oh, I say that and then run directly into an enemy. Unfortunately, we're probably going to miss out on this chest here unless we get a key. Sadly, we got a shield, not a key. 
Architect was trying to greed as well. Okay, so this one, do not, do not dash and try to get hit very few times. What the hell do we get here? Familiar that shoots random status effect bullets. Got a secret for that too. Oh wait, no, this isn't, this is bargaining. This is the wrong boss. Ignore me. For some reason I thought we were on depression. We are not. We can dodge all we like on this guy. Yeah, random status effect bullets plus having the grenade seems to be a very good combination. We still don't really kill that fast. Like, this this is a pretty good setup, but we've not got anything crazy yet. I think getting this little dragon dude is going to be pretty good. Ah, oh, I just dashed right into the boss there. This is the problem with flight. I'm not familiar with where I should be standing in certain situations. Like this. Ah. Ah. I'm going to get hit a few extra times on certain attacks. It's okay, though. We get through it. We get through it. We don't need the flawlesses. They're, they're, they're nice, but I can I can do without. Especially when I get a double armor drop. Double armor drop is very worthwhile. So I do wonder if I can upgrade my dragon familiar guy. He seems like it could be a good to upgrade. See if there's anything we want to get rid of first. Not really. Wait. How does this work? I'm going to try... Okay, it does It does remove HP. I had to see how that worked. But I was going to remove HP to upgrade things anyway, so that's fine. Um, I'm taking some risky plays here, but yeah, making some risky plays here, but I think it's okay. I hope it's okay. I just want more damage. More damage is good. And then 30% fire rate on this little dragon dude seems great. Holy hell. Dude, th this is really rough. It's you that's doing it. I was wondering who the hell was shooting all of those, and there's just a guy behind the other enemy. Really should be looking, looking for secret rooms at this point. Another shield is good. I would like to get a shield here, but I can't. Okay, we're at our secret room here. I just heard the music go quiet, so I knew. But yeah, we've got a lot of status effects going on right now, which is nice. So heal up. Hopefully this gives us some armor or just some HP. This could give us both. It gave us a key and some armor. Pretty good. I can't offer anything. Wait, I might be able to offer something now. Familiar that uh, spawns extra souls? Nah, we don't need that. We got a legendary from our last curse chest anyway, so I'm pretty good to, to keep on that trend. Yeah, at this point, I'm not really, like, aiming for the crits all the time. They just kind of happen when they happen. But we can give slow and everything, okay. I am losing a lot of soul here. A lot of soul escaped me there, that's very sad. Another piece of armor, this is really lucky because we have very little max HP. Defeat all enemies, that's fine. For us, you.
These enemies are a little annoying. But we got them all. We're up to 190% damage when we kill a lot of enemies. 120 base. Oh shit, these are not the enemies I thought they were. Be slightly careful. Okay. Open that crystal up. Remember, we're not going to dash on depression. We're going to try not to, at least. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I like it a lot. Unfortunately, again, we do have a shop here. Do you know, actually, I'm going to go into the shop. I, have, I only have a half heart, but we do have shop discount. So we should be able to get something. Critical. Oh, that's that's really good. We'll definitely take that. But yeah, this is uh, this this run's going well. I think this run's going well. The amount of armor we have right now is redonkulous. That's the main thing I'm noticing. You need to go first. These these guys scare me. Oh, Lord. How did I not get hit there? That's a lot of soul. That was a lot of soul. <laughs> Holy hell. Okay. Do not dash. Do not dash. We can do this. How does that even work? I'm guessing it just doesn't, so we can just trash that item. No dashing. No dashing. Only flying. I, I, I guarantee that I accidentally dash. But I think this boss is specifically designed so that you can do this achievement. Like, with flight, this guy seems... I'm not going to say easy, but a lot easier. Like, he's still, I still think he could possibly hit me, just because of attacks like this. And I don't know if it's, yeah, I don't know if it's that you need to flawless him or just not get hit a certain amount of times. I think it's flawless, though. It does make me scared. But we did it. That should unlock a secret because we didn't dash and we didn't get hit. There you go. We got it. Awesome. That's apparently a really hard one to get that you almost need flight for. So being able to get that on the first time is very important. Right. Health is looking very good, mainly because our armor is just stacked. Um, I do want to get rid of the additional jump because that is literally useless. And then we can go... Let's just do it on that, I think. Critical damage up. It's going to help a lot. Then let's go another critical damage up on that. Do you know what? Let's go for that too. 60% fire rate on you. The, the fact that you can apply status effects like slur is real good. Obviously, this puts our health in a slightly precarious position. But it's not terrible. We found our secret room there. Nice. Holy hell. Oh, there's two of you there. Makes a little more sense why there were so many shots there. Also, pop a HP. Try and get a little bit of HP before the boss here. Even more damage is very good, though. 130% base is quite nice. 
Look at that. We're slowing there. That's something we don't get a lot of. And if that can affect the boss, which I think it can, it's going to be really good. Sadly, I don't think we're going to get enough soul to use that armor stand. Damn it. If we'd have got one more or so, we could have got that, but no use to us. Can't use that either. It's like we're a vert to using statues, but I just can't. I don't have the HP ever. He's actually doing a good amount of damage as well, even without the status effects. I don't know if he takes damage from us or how he calculates his damage, but it's, it's good. However he does it, I like it. And there's our first HP back. Okay, slightly precarious room here. Take out the enemies we can. 51 damage for a shot in the back there. You do have a celestial weapon here. You little bitch. Spawned a fly right on top of me. We don't want Celestia Weapon though, we're really happy with what we got. Okay, these guys can be annoying. These guys are even more annoying. Good, good. Okay, it's going well, we're getting a lot of healing. And remember the armor's just staying in the way of all that HP, so we're constantly just building up maximum HP and never losing any. Heal up again, just to make sure we don't waste any soul slot. We do have additional soul, like, um, additional room for souls. But I still want to make sure that we're utilizing that correctly. Good. Got shop here. I will take the shop. Normally I don't this late, but with this amount of armor, I think it's okay. And we're getting four options, too. Ooh, bullets split into smaller bullets on impact. Yes, please. And we've also got... Your bullets can go through walls. I don't think that's that important. Let's leave it at that. Considering we have the follows your aim plus Tesla, I think the bullet splitting on impact is going to be very, very strong. As you can see, it is. So yeah, I imagine if we rebuild the broken key... The, the key it'll allow us to open this chest here because we currently haven't been able to open it. But imagine getting that is how we do that. So we are going to try and go true ending again here. I'm going to try and go true ending whenever I can. I don't actually know if I need to go true ending to advance to advance to the next shard now. I'm going to imagine you do once you've unlocked it. But I'm not sure. Chest room there that we're missing out on. We'll take one last curse. I might just pause in just a second here. The compass. Again, we don't care about accuracy. Okay, right. One moment, guys. Just to pause. Okay, let's carry on. Um, and we're on to the boss. Let's give this a go. We should we should be pretty fine on this boss. I don't know, again, how Flight will fare against this guy. But I think with all of the um, split shots and stuff we got going on, the damage here should be pretty good. I just like the fact that we don't have to use dash as much. Like, some, some areas we still do, but it's not we're not as reliant on it anymore. So much extra space to uh, maneuver. Yeah, I think Tesla, with the uh, aiming, like, the bullets follow our aim thing, is really, really helping do some extra damage here. That's a really bullshit little attack you got going on there, sir. Oh, dude. You're hitting me with some horrible attacks right now. We'll see how acceptance goes. We're still going to do true ending no matter what. We'll find some bouncy shots. Okay, the bombs especially are going to be 
a lot easier for us, right? Even this is a lot easier. Yeah, we're doing good damage to him. Damn it, I, don't, I didn't dash there and I do not know why. Thank God the, the bombs are the only sort of contact damage. Taking a lot more damage here than I should have done, definitely. But we at least get some soul out of doing that. And you can end your run here, or you can head through this way. And of course we're going to head through this way. Is it a little weird that there's no Metro for this floor? I mean, of course I know why, but like... It's just strange to go to a new floor and not have a Metro. Okay, a lot of cursed enemies on this floor as well. I don't really know which enemies I need to be prioritizing. These guys are jumping all over the place. What the wacky hell? Safety blanket. Okay, this is us. This is the uh, the prism room. I do know what to do here, or at least somewhat know what to do here. Um, so I'm I'm gonna try and do that eventually, but it might not be for a little bit. We're just gonna focus on getting better at the game first. The enemies on this floor are so cool. Nice. Extra damage. 200% in this room. Wow. The status effects are popping off. Got a chest room here. We do have a key, so I'll probably go into this. Okay, these guys are going crazy down here. I just went in there to get the soul. I realized that was probably a bad idea. Wasted some shield for very little reason, really. What is... I, I don't know what this is. I, I can see what it is inside the chest, but I don't know what that actually is. I feel like I've got to take it. Increased damage by a lot, but is lost. That's so good, because we are definitely not going to be taking a curse from now on. Oh, dude, they fire those rings at you. I was like, oh, they just got a ring around them? That's easy. And then I saw the ring traveling towards me and was like, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Okay, we got the champion dude here. Damn it, I tried. I did actually get some healing out of that, but I lost shield for it, which I really shouldn't have done. There you go, you're dead. We should be able to get one more heart out of this. Oh, I, I left some damage behind. That's very upsetting. That doesn't blast me. Oh, I got hit. Okay. I've managed to gain quite a lot of HP in here, but I have also lost a lot of armor in this floor. Then again, it's a lot of new enemies that I don't really know. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fret. Wow, that guy's got a big jump.
Okay, we've managed to get up to a really good HP level. We've still got a few rooms left as well. And the last room has like a bunch of soul in it as well, doesn't it? Okay. We still got one shield remaining too. Good, good. So we'll probably get one more heart out of this here from the uh, soul in here. That's just like there's some here, some there, some there, and some there. Okay, it only gives you one bar, actually. It doesn't give you quite as much as I thought. But here we go. We're on to Mother. Again, I don't know how I don't know how worried I am about this. I think we should be okay. Prisoner of Memories. Just, I think the range of movement we have right now should mean that it's very easy to avoid a lot of her attacks. Like, obviously that one's a little tough. That one was a pretty good shot there. I don't know what that armor break status effect is. Is that like they receive more damage or something? She's just stacked with status effects all the time. But that's first phase done. Remember, she's three phased. It's not just one phase. It is three. But the third phase has half HP. I don't know if she gets any new attacks per phase either. I think she does. Or at least she's more aggressive with her attacks. This guy's the one that needs to go because he can just throw that from anywhere. The other guy can kind of just chill. Like, he can die when he dies, but I don't really care. I say that and then it becomes a huge problem. Oh, oh my god, that was a cool attack. This boss is really well designed. Just generally the bosses in Revita are just really well designed anyways. But this boss especially I really like. Yeah, she only goes up to half HP with this one. We shouldn't have too bad of an issue with her. I'm probably going to get hit a few more times. But the good thing is at least on the current patch... The next phase, the final phase, is like significantly easier than this phase. Um, just because it has a lot less HP. Apparently that is going to be changed. That last phase is going to get a pretty decently sized HP buff. <laughs> Let me heal. You gave me so much soul. Let me heal. Okay. So I did, I do get enough soul to mess around here. Now I, w I just want to say, I wonder if it's worth being sat near the mouth. No. I'm actually taking a lot more damage than I thought it would be. I need to be careful. Wow, I might die here. Okay, I probably will die here. Also, the hell is this? Yeah, I'm probably gonna die here. This attack especially is like, confusing to me. I got her. I think I got her. I did. Holy hell. That was so close. That was so close. Last phase, like I said, a lot less HP, but she, she is pretty meaty. She does do quite a lot of damage.
My goodness. Holy hell, that was very close. Boom. There you go. A corker of a run. A very fun one indeed. And we fall back in to the Metro. I love that little animation. That's so good. That was really tense towards the end there. That was a really fun run though. Had a very good time with the synergies we got. And this time we got the SMG, which we haven't actually beaten any shards on. But let's check what the next shard is. Increase enemy bullet speed. Oh god. Even more bullet speed. Okay. Uh, so this time let's... um. For one, let's have a look at you. Safety blanket. Probably want to grab safety blanket for our next run. But yeah, definitely like this alt version of the sniper. Doesn't seem like they're that different. They've not got anything crazy going on, but definitely got a bit of difference to them. That's a lot of gifts. Winged boots. I have denial. Floaty boots. Lucky Penny. Charity. Rainbow. Ooh, I definitely want that. And the Corrupted Shrines. What do you have for us? For, for one, we got a bunch of new stuff in here. Okay, so... Custom Shards. Ticket Machine. Corrupted Shrines. Shrines can now... Corrupted Shrines can now spawn. They grant minor benefits in exchange for the chance at getting a curse. The wand. Let's grab that. And the cat room as well. Cool. Right, let's, uh, let's go and grab some relics for the next time as well. I definitely want Rainbow. I don't know what that is, but I want it. And we'll also go with Safety Blanket too. Cool. We'll, um, we'll grab the SMG for the next run and try and unlock an alt version of that. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.